we are going to talk about the applications of uh, maxima and minima and remember that uh, when the derivative or the uh, y prime the first derivative is equated to zero then uh, critical values critical critical values are obtained okay and these critical values can either be uh, maximum maximum or minimum we have uh, already established that uh, the first derivative is the slope and uh, just to prove the point so let's say we have a graph we have a curve and uh, at this point where uh, the graph reaches uh, a certain maximum value okay at this point at this particular point the slope at that point is equal to zero and we know that the slope is also the first derivative so if we equate our first derivative to zero we will get either the maximum like in this case the maximum or in this case it is the minimum okay at this point uh, at the at a uh, low point of uh, the graph okay so let's go ahead and answer some uh, example problems regarding this so let's say we have two poles, one 8 feet high and the other 12 feet high, stands 15 feet apart. So let's go ahead and uh, draw to, draw to the, those uh, two poles. So let's say we have here post A and post B. So this is 8 feet high and this is 12 feet high. And they are, so this is the problem. They are 15 feet apart. They are stayed. Let's continue reading the problem. They are stayed. They are to be stayed by wires attached to a single stake at a ground level. The wires running to the tops of the posts. So there's a stake here. Somewhere along this uh, summer along this 15 uh, feet distance apart from them so we need to say there will be a wire running to the running to the tops of the poles and the problem is where should we place the stake so that we will use the least amount of wire so we have to make an equation uh, containing the length of the wire so let's say we have here this is this is uh let's say this is a the length of a and the length of b so the length of the wire the total length of the wire is equal to a plus b so that is this is the equation where we are going to take the uh, derivative so let's assign uh, this distance as x so therefore the distance from the stake to the taller pose is uh, 15 minus x okay and here we have two right triangles where a and b are the hypotenuse of those two right triangles so for the smaller triangle here we can say that a a squared is equal to 8 squared plus x squared and therefore a is equal to the square root of 64 plus x squared how about for b for b we have b squared is equal to so we have 12 squared plus 15 minus x squared and b is equal to the square root of 144 plus 15 minus quantity 15 minus x squared so let's go ahead and substitute a and b to our l okay so l 
will now be square root of 64 plus x squared plus square root of 144 plus the quantity 15 minus x squared. Okay? So this is the equation that we are going to take our first derivative from. So we will get the derivative. We will get the derivative of the length with respect to x and equate it to 0. Okay? So let's go ahead and uh, go to our next page. Let's uh, just re rewrite that. L is equal to square root of 64 plus x squared plus square root of 144 plus 15 minus x squared. So, first derivative. So, we have 1 half 64 plus x squared raised to negative 1 half times 2x plus Again, 1 half times 144 plus 15 minus x squared. Let's go ahead and uh, change this to a bracket. Raised to negative 1 half times 2 times 15 minus x. Okay, times negative 1 because the derivative of uh, negative x is negative 1. So, let me just... Go ahead and put that there. Okay. So, let's simplify. So, 2 and 1 half will cancel out. And I will have here x over 64 plus x squared raised to 1 half. And then this will be negative because of the negative sign here. Again, 1 half and 2 will both cancel out. And this will be 15 minus x. Then we have here 144 plus 15 minus x squared raised to 1 half as well. So, this is now our first derivative and we will go ahead and equate it to 0. Okay, so once equated to 0, we can multiply the denominators okay, from these two terms. So, 1 over, let's multiply 1 over. 64 plus x squared times 144 minus or plus 15 minus x squared. Okay, so both of them are raised to 1 half. Okay, so this will uh, stay as 0 while x will now be multiplied by or let's just make it square root of 144 plus 15 minus x squared and then minus 15 minus minus quantity 15 minus x then square root of 64 plus x squared okay We can transpose one of the terms in the uh, other side of the equation, and we will have 15, 15 minus x times the quantity 64 plus x squared is equal to x times the, times the square root of 144 plus 15 minus x, quantity 15 minus x squared. And then we can raise the whole equation by 2. Okay, to eliminate the terms with square root. So we have 15 minus x squared, then 64 plus x squared, then is equal to x squared times 144 plus 15 minus x squared. Okay, so let's go ahead and go to our next page. Let's rewrite that first. We have 15 minus x quantity 15 minus x squared plus 64 plus x squared is equal to x squared times the quantity 144 plus 15 minus x okay, squared. So we will expand this. This will be 225 minus 
30x plus x squared. Then multiply it by 64 plus x squared. Well, this one would be 144. 144x squared plus x squared times 225 minus 30x plus x squared. Okay? Simplify. So, uh, 64. Let's uh, distribute 64 plus x squared to this trinomial. So, 64 times 225 is 14,400 minus 30 times 64. That's 1,820 plus 64 squared. 64x squared. And then we have uh, plus 225x squared minus 30x cubed plus x to the fourth. Okay, so this should be with x because we have 30 times 64 is equal to. So we have 144x squared plus 225 x squared minus 30x cubed plus x to the fourth on the other side of the equation. So we can see because this is negative 30x squared, this is also negative 30x squared. Those will cancel out. This is x to the fourth, x to the fourth will also cancel out. Then uh, this one, 225x squared, 225x squared. So we are left with uh, 144x squared minus 64x squared and then minus 1920x. Uh, 1, okay, so that would be plus because I'm transposing the terms here to the right side of the equation and then minus 144, uh, 14,000. 440 is equal to 0. So simplify further. 144 minus 64 is 80. 80x squared plus 1920x minus 14,400 is equal to 0. Next is we will uh, divide by 80. So we will have x squared plus 1920 divided by 80. That's 24. Then 1, uh, 14,400 divided by 80 is 180. So we have here a uh, quadratic equation and we will apply the quadratic formula. So x squared plus 24x minus 180 is equal to 0. What is x? So again, quadratic formula. Just a quick review. x is equal to negative b plus and minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac all over 2a. So x is equal to negative b, negative 24, plus and minus square root of 24 squared minus 4 times 1 times negative 180 all over 2 so negative 24 plus and minus this one would be 24 squared plus because we have two negatives plus 4 times 180 so that is the square root of 1296 all over 2 and the square root of 1296 is 36. So we have negative 24 plus and minus 36 over 2. So obviously we have to choose the, the uh, sign that we have to choose here is positive. Okay, because we are talking about uh, distances here or length. And length cannot have a negative value if we choose uh, negative 24 minus. 36. So we will go with negative 24 plus 36 
all over 2, so that would be 12 over 2. And our final answer is 6 feet. So let's go to our, our uh, let's go back to our first slide. So it means to say that we have solved here for x. Okay, we have solved for x and it means to say that x is equal to 6 feet. If you will place the stick, okay, between the two poles, so we have to place the stick at 6 feet from the shorter pose. Okay, 6 feet from the shorter pose so that the minimum amount of wire would be used. Okay, so that's, uh, that's the answer for the shortest, uh, for the distance or, or for the position of the stick. Okay, to obtain the shortest amount of wire.